I'm Batman. Thanks to Team Filmora, we finally have the keyframing feature, starting from the Filmora 10. Okay then, the basis of keyframing is to take an object and make it move, resize, move and resize in a completely randomized manner that the user see fit. But before moving forward, I want to let you know that even though we have the keyframing feature in the Filmora 10, but we can only use that feature on things like videos, images, and elements not on the text so yeah we can't use the keyframing on the titles or the text i know it's a bummer but i hope that filmora will add the keyframing on the text in the next update so yeah without any further ado let me enlighten you hey there everyone i'm iman shimera and you're watching technomania Okay now, once inside of Filmora 10, use any object. Well, I'm gonna use my channel logo here and I will put it on the timeline. Okay now we have to double click on the object and then here on the top section, you will see this animation option. Before the Filmora 10 update, this used to be named as motion, but in Filmora 10, it is renamed to animation. Now go to the animation tab and here you will see these pre-made animation presets. Well, if we scroll down then we can also see the old motion presets here. These used to be in the predecessor version. Now to add a keyframe. If I double click on any one of it, then it will get applied to our image. So now you can see this keyframe marker here. Well, if we play, then you can see that it is animated now. Well, if we select this keyframe and drag it right or left, then we can also adjust the animation duration. Well, you can always use this custom preset or you can customize your keyframing. So let's remove this animation here and let's go to the customize option. So yeah, why don't we just simply click on the customize option here. Okay, now click here on this add button to add the first keyframe. Now, if you look at the start of my logo here, then you can see that same keyframe dot here. So this is our first keyframe. If you want, then we can also drag it and move. So why don't we drag it a bit after? Okay, now wherever we put this keyframe, the animation will start from that point. So let's say that if I have a 10 second video and I put a keyframe at three seconds, then my animation will going to start from the third second and not from the very first of the video. So basically you can add keyframe on an object from any point of the duration that you like. You don't have to do it from the start. You can do it from any point that you want to. Also, one more thing, you can always adjust and resize an object before adding in keyframe. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm gonna make a very basic left to right movement here. So like I said before, that you can always resize an image or video before putting a keyframe. So I will delete this keyframe and will go to the start of the video since I want my animation to play from the very start. Now, I will first scale my image down a bit you can always use these settings here for rescaling, repositioning, rotating, etc. Or you can always manually do the resize with the mouse like this. It's your choice whatever approach you want to go for. Okay, so now I will position my image to the center on the left side. Okay, now as you can see that Filmora has already made a keyframe for me. So this keyframe was added when I resized and repositioned my image. Well, that is exactly is the nature of the keyframing. No matter what small adjustment you do, it will be going to notice by software and will be implemented. Well, while keyframing, if you happen to do a mistake, then you can always undo the step using this arrow or using the keyboard shortcut. Oh yeah, one more thing. Starting from the Filmora 10, we can assign custom keyboard shortcuts. So if you guys don't know how to add a custom keyboard shortcut in Filmora 10, then you can always watch this video of mine here. So yeah, after watching this video, I will suggest you to go and watch that video of mine where I will teach you how to do custom shortcuts in Filmora 10. Okay now, once my image is here, so now I will move my timeline slider a bit further into the time. 
this orange line. Remember, this is known as the timeline marker or a timeline slider. Okay, so now at this point, I will change the position of my image from left side to the right side. So now if I play the video back, then you can see that we have just created an animation that is moving from left to right direction. Also the point where the keyframe ends is also the point where the animation stops. And like I said before, if we drag the keyframe to the left, then it will increase the speed of the animation. But if you drag it to the right, then it will decrease the speed of the animation. So yeah guys, this is the idea behind keyframing an actual customized approach to the motion. So basically, we can do whatever the hell we want to. So yeah guys, that's pretty much how we do the keyframing Filmora 10. If you guys have any more query, then you can let me know in the comment section below and I will try to solve it for you guys. This is me, Himan Shimera, signing out. And I will see you later.